in the red. We have our Zerk player. Cut the edge light. And there's a shot of the guy himself. A legend. In the blue. Losing to a, a six pool in our first game. Any pro prime, we. Can he come back and do this? Prime, Korean team, we, Chinese team, merged together. And there's Homer Simpson in a picture. You know, July Zerg is the ultimate hard to play against Tasteless. He plays with such a non caring. A lot of people, for instance, look at. Uh, like a, a macro god like Idra, his style, he, he doesn't want a six pool. I mean, sometimes he mixes stuff in, but it's painful to be this far and then six pool and you think you're better than your opponent. And I'm sure Jalizerk thinks he's better, but he takes these insane risks that have great risk cases, but great rewards as well. You know, this is where there's a similarity between him and Fruit Dealer. Yeah. <laughs> these are the two Zerg, and that's what distinguishes them from Nest T, for instance. Not. Not that Nesty's bad. <laughs> and Nesty will cheese every now and then. But, but not like these guys. No, these guys actually, they do like insane things and they don't give up. Yeah. And they don't, they, they, they do it just the right number where it's very difficult to predict if they're going to do it. Yeah. They don't fit into a box, which is actually so hard to do in StarCraft, to have the proper toolkit that you can keep playing a best of five or a best of seven. Yeah. Have a variety of builds. If there's only smoke bombs on your bat belt cases. The Joker's gonna get you eventually. That's right. That's ex actually exactly right, Artosis. Thank you for uh, allowing that to be right, Tasis. I am a nice guy. You need to have your bat boomerang. You know? Yeah. You need those sharp, like bat stars, and like like ninja stars shaped like a bat for some reason, as if. I, I know. know. You're like leaving evidence at the scene of the crime. You're actually a vigilante, a fugitive Batman. <laughs> I don't care if Commissioner Gordon is on your side. If he shines a light in the sky, you're actually breaking the law. All That's right? That's a very good point. You know? We can't have everyone <laughs> out there doing that. I don't care that you're rich. Whatever. I need to get some kryptonite and take you out, Batman. Oh, God. <laughs> I will never forget the moment where I thought that uh, Superman was weak against, uh, or no, Han Solo was frozen in kryptonite instead of carbonite, and then you said, no, he's weak. That, that would look so funny, man. Batman. Because back when Star Wars was made, I don't <laughs> think they could make stuff shiny, glowing green. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> carbonite is, he's gray when he's frozen. I man. know, but kryptonite is a shiny, glowing green. I don't think they could have made it. Is it? it? I yeah. thought it was shiny, glowing blue. <laughs> All right, we're phony nerds. He just gave me that terrible look. That look of oh, what? interesting. He's going to go for a Stargate. All right, game's picking up. We can talk about the game now. All right. Excellent. Uh, and now, know. he wants to hide that stalker. You don't want to let him see that. Well, I don't know. What well, do you think? I, I don't want to let him see that because if he, if he sees a stalker, then you know he's going to get a Void Ray because... Well, not always. Sometimes it does mean a uh, Warp Gate Rush. It, and, it, well, it does mean tech. Yeah. It, it's certainly not a Sentry Expand, but here's a little thing. And it, I don't feel like it's quite happened at the top level of PvZ yet, but I feel like this build, or rather the Sentry Expand builds, eventually people are just going to have to make a Stalker every now and then, just to throw you off. He might go for Phoenixes, yeah. Oh, interesting. Man, One I got that Phoenix. sentence just in time, so I looked good. Uh, Phoenixes. Phoenix. We have, we have seen Void Rays used. Phoenix. You know, uh, yeah. <laughs> Phoenixes, if you catch your opponent off guard, are amazing. And Jalizer is going for a Roach Warren. He does have two Queens, but that's it. When you get three Phoenix, you're going to probably move out. You can wait for four. Four Phoenixes destroys two Queens. Three Phoenixes with another one rallied beats two Queens, but doesn't, like, oh, no. Well, here's the thing about Phoenixes is, is by themselves they're not good, but if you get a certain number of them together, mm. essentially, then you, I mean, you really got to be prepared because these things can be microed in such a way that you're not going to lose a Phoenix. Yeah. Now, yeah, John Zerg is making some roaches. This is a two-base timing attack here. Now, he has three zealots in his army. Oh, well, he is actually going to a probe. Excuse me. He's going to expand. I thought it was going to be a two-base timing push. Well, he's looking I don't like use he's going to He might be faking it. We don't know. And he's actually stopped Phoenix production from here. Now, there's a bunch of roaches being made. Those roaches not going to be all that useful, but third queen is on the way. Three queens. Micro it all correctly, save up some energy. You should be able to deal with these Phoenixes. And bam, he sees three. The roaches are moving out. An evolution chamber is being made. A void ray is being made. 
The roaches, I don't expect them to actually do any damage because, well, look at what he's doing. It's like, oh, you want to attack me, Roach? No. And he picks him up and his friends well, beat him up. Well, he's got to be careful, actually, because uh, zealots are what uh, the majority of uh, any pro's army and zealots are terrible against roaches. Yeah, they, they're pretty bad. Oh, but he's roaches. making a void ray. Oh, any pro. Who are you? He's just some pro. He's any just pro. some pro. He's Take any of them. He could be any of them. Big fish. Oh, look at that. Traps the Roach is going to be able to take those out pretty easily. Actually, I got to see Jalizer is off to a miserable start here. Yeah, it starts not all that good. Ah! Why did you make me go here, Jalizer? Pretty cool opening by any pro. You know what I like is that he stopped at three Phoenix. Because it's hard to decide which Phoenix to stop at. Because if you make Phoenix non-stop, eventually you should lose to a competent player. Yeah. And the more you make, the fewer good gateway units you're going to have. Now, there's definitely a balance when it comes to Phoenixes. Mm. Stargate. Two Stargates. Whoa, Artosis. Interesting. I don't know about this. This is pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to guess that he's going to go Void Rays with this. Yeah. Void Rays are just so good. <laughs> it's just... Well, you bases. know, here's the thing is that he can use the Phoenixes for now to prevent the Zerg from taking a third base. I don't know if Zerg's going to rush to get Hydras out. Well, actually, I mean, he's, he's making a Spire taste. Okay. And, uh, but he can keep the uh, Zerg on two bases for a very long time. Yeah, that's a nice thing about having a Void Ray and some And he's Phoenixes actually out. massing up Phoenixes. Well, I guess if he sees these um, Spire, you get Phoenixes. If he doesn't see that, he make Void Rays. So. He has not seen the Spire. So, a little bit blind Phoenix production. But the thing is, if he's just massing Phoenix off to Stargate and July is making a Spire, uh, probably Mute is going to pop out of there. If he pops out Corruptors, that's kind of going to be a funny story. Uh, wouldn't it be surprised if there were a few Corruptors just because Corruptors are so good against Phoenix? But uh, Yeah. Uh-oh. Should have stayed at home, buddy. <laughs> I wanted to. He told me to go Don't out there. Don't cross the street without Mom. Zealots have a mom. I feel like they come from like a huge tree or something. Think about that. Tree of life. Every zealot probably has a mom. No, there aren't female Protoss, are there? Yeah, there are. Who's driving the mothership, bro? Oh. What's wrong with you, man? I'm stupid. You're sexist is what All you right, are. Alright, so actually he is making five corruptors right now. So uh, those are obviously going to be very good against this very Phoenix heavy build that Phoenixes we're seeing so far. Phoenixes are terrible against corruptors. Yeah, they're, they're pretty bad against some tasteless. And one Void Ray, but I don't know, man. Phoenix is, you know, they have a double attack, so what do they deal against? A corruptor, like, six damage or something? It's just very, very low. Uh, off the top of my head, I, d I do not know, actually. I don't know numbers, tastes. I just know what it feels like I when know. I die. I have, like, the star sense. I just know <laughs> when I'm watching. Now, Phoenixes are faster than Corruptors, and Corruptors cannot attack ground units, so theoretically, he can avoid the Corruptors. Well, he attempts to make a solution for this. It is Roach Truck right now. That is a lot of Phoenixes he's moving out with. I think Those that counts as a fleet. Ooh, a fleet of Phoenixes. A fleet of Phoenixes. I think that's what we're going to have to call it right now. Well, Unlike that, Lone Wolf over here. More Corruptors being made by July. This is really going to be a funky game, Tasteless. A lot of Corruptors. A lot of stuff that doesn't really attack ground against each other. But July has a decent little group of Roachling right now. Oh, you shouldn't be over there. Backs up. Uh oh, he knows. And very good harassment oh, nice. here, taking out a lot of drones. Dude, he's so much faster than the corruptors. Dude, any pro is sick, man. Look at that. He's running circles around the corruptors. Look at that boss there taking him out. Oh. Pick up some larvae. Oh no, kill the map doesn't go any further in this direction. <laughs> <laughs> what about up here? No, it's the corner. Oh, Jalizer. Oh, Jalizer. Trying to catch him. Any pro, juking and jiving. But here come the Roaches. Very good move by July. July wants a finals, Tasteless. Yeah, actually, here's the problem. Is that's great. He killed all the drones, but what about all these Roaches? And the Phoenixes can't really come back here uh, and save the day if the Corruptors get there in time. But notice July's are just split up. Faces the Corruptors. Yeah, July's are Corruptors are way off out in the map. So, oh, no kidding. Uh, it looks like any pro is going to get a free uh, cleanup here. 
he had just sent his corruptor straight back, those roaches definitely would have done more damage. That was a big mistake by July. Do not want to actually engage that. You gotta be careful, stalkers are so fast. Yeah, they're pretty quick too. They're the Protoss racehorses. A little They're mini show horses, short man. Protosses riding on their backs. Yeah. <laughs> Trotting around with your legs, picking them up all high, looking all fancy and prissy. <laughs> I don't know about this move by any pro, though. Yeah, this is not going to work out well I because there's a lot of Roach Ling that can easily take out he, those what, what he wants to do is charge that Voidery up on the hatchery. Uh oh, interception. <laughs> Looks like at least two. Touchdown for Jelizer. Fumble. Oh, he does have blink. Now, for micro purposes, that's going to be pretty useful here. And it looks like he's just suiciding oh. on that hatch. Probably wants to blink out with those. Run away with your stalkers. The front is doing huge damage. And I know he's actually that hatchery, learning a lot with this game because Phoenixes and stalkers are basically the most mobile Protoss units. Mm. So what he's doing is he comes in here. Generally, as a general of, of thumb, if you have a giant army and you know you're going to lose and you try to focus fire the building, even though that might be the best thing you can do, you're still going to be behind. You know what I mean? You're going to lose your entire army. He remakes that, and he has a bigger army in the end. But in that case, because he can escape again, that well, you know, going to be pretty good. Even though he killed the hatch, I feel like Jelizer got way ahead there, killing off all those stalkers. It's going to be very hard for any pro to hold off. A ton of roaches coming in here. No real sentries to he's, help him out. Should, yeah, I was going to say, he should have warped in some sentries. What an educational game this is, though. The Phoenixes are nowhere to be seen. Jelizer is angry, Tasteless. Or any pro. He just happens to be there when Jelazer gets angry. The Phoenixes being chased around by Corruptors at the moment cannot come back to help. So much damage being dealt. This is one of the most technical Protoss versus Zergs I've seen. Well, actually, looks like he will barely hold this, but we don't know how many reinforcements are at home. Yeah, the thing is, July, even though he lost that hatchery, his supply has gone whip. 75 for any pro, 158 for July. Oh my god, that is such a huge Jelizer difference. Jelizerg ain't playing around, Tasteless. No, I want this isn't a game for Jelizerg. No, Artos, if you don't mind, say, the, say those numbers again, because I, I want One, that to stick 154 with for July, 79 for any pro right now. Now that... As, as sexy as Protoss is looking right now, blinking around and using Phoenixes. He had some cute Jel moves, Tasteless. Yeah, Jelizerg is actually just so ahead, he can start making stuff and throwing it at him and wear him down and win. Yeah, and there we go. That is going to probably be it. GG. GG. And again, the crowd erupts in cheers. Jelizerg 2-0 to zero over any throw thus far. Pretty one-sided, I have to say. I yep. mean, any pro had some cool, cute moves in there. July Zerg, though, when he sees a cute dog, Tasteless, he picks it up and he drop kicks it into the Han River. He's yeah, not July's about cute. He's, he's not about, about that. Yeah, it doesn't, he's he about killing. He doesn't have time for your cute little Phoenix stalker. I'm going to run around the map and shoot your head tree stuff. He's like, all right, I've had enough. Well, July is pretty good, man. He is. I like, he is. I like the Phoenix... Opening, but I think the moment you see corruptors, you have to stop. Phoenix what you're against corruptor is not very good for Phoenix. Uh, Jelizerg really dealt with that all beautifully. You know, uh, when you see Phoenixes, you there's a few decisions you can make. You can go just straight up to Hydra and go attack, and then they have to make like a trillion cannons and you get ahead. Or you can do what Jelizerg did there, which was he went up to corruptors. That's going to stop Phoenix's dead. And uh, then you can just use roaches. You don't have to make any hydras. And you can expand because you basically have map control. Yeah, the Phoenixes are flying around being a little bit annoying. But can he really mount an offensive? Those Phoenixes cost a no. lot, Tasteless. No, he can't. That is the correct he answer. He cannot. So, um, I, I got to say, though, I do like any pro style. Like, at the start of that game, when he had the Phoenixes and he was killing all those drones, I was like, I don't know if I actually... No, it was cool. It was One cool. thing about when I do get Phoenixes, I, I confess I don't use Phoenixes as much as, as I should. It's not something I experiment with, but um, when I, the games I have gotten with Phoenixes, I'm amazed at how much stuff I can do with them. They're an active unit, Tasteless. You're yep. all over the map with them. You're doing all sorts of stuff all game long. And they're very easy to control. You don't have to, like, attack click. You actually just right-click around overlords and stuff, and they, they do the work for you. So we're going to have a one-minute break. Again, this is... Not a lot of time.
Don't go too far away. That's what I want, Tasteless. I want it to be quick. But a minute is really all it takes to microwave your nachos and be back before the game starts. Yeah, that's a good point. You might you know? miss some of our banter. Take out your headphone jack. Turn up your speakers yeah. so you can hear us down in the kitchen. You know, I will confess something. I'm not a headphone guy at home. I Always know. speakers. Yeah. Always speakers. Because I get distracted sometimes when I I'm, use speakers. I've lost games, and I'm, I'm mad, and I get up, and I forget that I'm actually connected into a headset. And, I'm, and then, you know, it's, it's, it can make a mess. So we'll be back soon.